Hello, welcome to another video from Photo Speed. Today, what we're going to be looking at is part of a series of videos looking at how to use paper in a different way. So getting away from just the standard print and how we can use our papers to make interesting display items. Now today what we're going to be looking at is making a photo book. Now the most simple book we can make is what's called a zine type book. So it is a soft covered book and it has a very simple saddle stitch down the spine just to create that book for us. But they make really nice little books that will allow us to promote our work and also they're quite cheap to produce as well. Then the tricky bit about them isn't so much the binding because that's quite a simple bind to do which I'll show you later on in the video. Now the tricky part is the layouts. So we're going to spend a lot of time just having a look at the layouts. Now the tricky part comes because you have to print on the front and the back and because of the way it's bound as well those pages jumble up a little bit. So if you want full page spreads and on pictures on either side of the page and they want them in a particular order, we just have to be aware of what is going on and how we print this. Now I just want to start by talking a little bit about the layouts before we get into the actual kind of technical aspects that we have to think about when we're designing the layouts. I just want to talk about how I get inspiration about what types of layouts I'm going to be doing and how I go about learning how to lay out a photo book to start with and where do I kind of go for inspiration should I say. Now the main thing I do is actually sit down with some photo books and kind of have a, just a flick through and kind of have a look uh, at the different designs and how they've laid out the book. Just very simply just going through and looking at these. Now this one here will have single pages, a single prints on a page and a white space over one side and just the big picture on what the other side as well. It does have double page spreads as well in here, but with a border around. Okay. Now this next book by uh, Josephine Michael, which is called Heat, The Heat Equation, actually has double page spreads which are full bleed in here. So again, just different style and a different kind of way of laying out your book. Now, this Francesca Woodman book is very simple in just a little square image on each page, but note she also, also put some text at the bottom as well. This is something we can decide on. Now, another thing we can do to help with the layout is actually print all our work off on tiny little pictures and just lay them all out so we can get a sequence as well. And that will help you decide on the, the timeline of the book, shall we say, the sequence of the book as well. But the best thing to do is just get stuck in and make a book and then go from there. So let's do that. Let's get into the software and then we'll go through the technical bits of how we create the layouts. So I'm going to create a couple of layouts for you, like a single page on the left and the right, then also a double page spread. So hopefully that will help you to understand how we create these layouts and then we'll actually go about how we actually go about printing this book as well and what we need to do to print a saddle stitch book okay so let's go into photoshop and we'll start from there okay so so the first thing we need to think about is what size we're going to be working in now i have chosen a5 here now the reason being it fits really nicely on to an A4 sheet. So the first thing I've done here, this is actually my front cover of the book. So I've done this in Photoshop and the first thing I did was create a blank A5 document. Now if you're not familiar with doing that, you just go up to file and new and then click. And then if you go across to where it says print at the top here and then view all presets you can select a5 and then we just make sure it's at 300 dpi and everything else it's fine then we created a new a5 document now what we're going to be doing when we create these layouts is we're going to be creating the left and the right pages singly so we do need to just go through the book work through from the front page like i have here and dropping images in 
And then also I put an inside cover here, which is actually page three of the book. If you think we've got the front cover, the inside cover, left and right. So this is on the right hand side. Now, I also do need to save a blank page like I have here. So I've actually got this labeled page two. So I've got my front cover is page one. Then I go to page two, which is blank. And then I've got the inside cover, which is page three. And then I can move on through the book as well. So I do need to create those pages. It's really useful just to have a plan of the book, perhaps just a quick sketch or just net label the page, all the pages and just say, yep, I need a picture on that one. That's blank. Just so we can go through and input all these here. Okay. So the next thing we need to do when, once we've finished our layouts is we need to create a PDF with all our files in. So we need to create a PDF in page order. Now you can see here in my recent documents, I've got all my pages listed here. So I need to put these into a PDF. So what I'm gonna do is just go up to file, then automate, and then PDF presentation here. Then I'm just gonna click okay, or just click on it, should I say. And then we'll come up with this PDF presentation box. All I need to do is just click on browse. Then I'm gonna select my files that are here in my layout where I've been saving them and just click open, then sort by name. And hopefully I've got a couple of duplicates in here that I'm just going to remove because some are JPEGs and some are PSDs. I'm just going to remove those and then hopefully they should all be in order all the way down. And then I just click save and then we're just going to save this as book layout PDF and then I'm just going to click OK. Now in the next box where it says save Adobe PDF, just to make sure it's on high quality print at the top. And just go down to compression. Just make sure we're at 300 PPI in here as well. And we're on JPEG and we're on maximum in there. Then click save PDF. And it will just run through and create this PDF for us. Okay, so once the PDF is made, what we need to do is we need to find, find the file and we need to open it in Adobe Acrobat. Now, I've put it on two page view here, so we'll be able to flick through, just see the layouts and have a quick flick through to make sure everything's okay. Just quickly do that, there we go. So everything looks okay to me. Okay, so once we've got the PDF opened in Adobe Acrobat, the next thing to do is print it. Now, Acrobat is fantastic at printing this kind of book for us. If we go over to the printer icon here, we can just click on that or if you prefer, we can go to File, Print. So we get our print dialog up. Now, the first thing we need to do is just make sure we're on the right printer, which is the Pro 1000 series here. And the next thing, I just need to go across to our booklet here and just click in here, and this will create a booklet for us. Now, we've got options just underneath called the booklet subset. Now in here we can print, because we're going to be printing double-sided on the Matte Duo paper. What we can do is we can have it print both sides at once. So it will print one sheet on the front of one sheet, and then we have to flip that over to print on the back of that sheet at the same time. Um, and it will just go through and just print it for us. Now, this can get a little bit tricky in kind of remembering which side you'll go in and which what we need to do to it. So what I like to do is I like to print the front side first. So we just print all of those first. So we put in five sheets of paper because we're only going to be using five sheets of A4 to do this. We put those in, it prints those, and then we go to file print again, and then we click back side and then it will print the other side of those. So all we do is we just take the paper out and put it back in the printer. And then it will print the other side of these for us. Now it looks like we haven't got anything printed on this first page, which is blank. Everything else should be absolutely fine in here. So all we need to do then is just make our page set up we we'll just make sure we're on the Pro 1000 on an A4. And then also the printer. This is where we go in and we would have to kind of make sure we've got the right 
quality of media setting inputted in here. So we're going to be using the Matte Ultra. So on the Pro 1000, I'm just going to put it to heavyweight fine art paper. We do need to tell it if we're using a profile, the profile within the color matching tab. So we're not going to allow Canon to control the colors. We're going to actually use the color sync facility and we're going to assign the profile in here. So we can just assign the profile that we're going to be using in here as we would normally. Okay, so I've got the NST bright white profile in here, but I'm actually going to be using the Mac Duo. So I would install the profile in here and select that one in there. Now also my images are quite are black and white. So I'm actually going to be using the black and white mode. So I'm going to set this to Canon color matching and then enable the black and white mode in here and make sure I've got this selected here. So let's just set this to front side, make sure we're all okay. And then I'm just gonna click print. Okay, so let's start making the book. Now, the first thing I need to do is, I'm gonna get my draft copy now made of plain paper, and I'm gonna use this as a template. So, just take the front cover. Now, as you can see here, what I've done is I've just marked out where I'm gonna make my hole punches here along that center line. Now, I've just marked every inch along this ruler for where I'm gonna make a hole. And now with my ball here, I can just go through and just poke through those holes just to make those holes of where I'm gonna be making the holes in the book. Now, if I put this over the book here and do a sheet at a time, I will just punch through each page through these holes here. Now, let's just go through. Now you'll see, just punch through each of these holes in here. And I just do this on each of the sheets as we're going. All of our pages have holes in, just like this one here. Okay. Now what we need to do is we just need to start stitching it. So to do this, what I'm gonna do is you get a length of thread and a needle. Okay, so I just need to measure my thread to start with. So what I'm gonna do is just go one length and two lengths of thread. Just go a little bit over and then just cut the thread. Okay. Now I'm just gonna pop this on my needle here and then we're just gonna start to thread the book. Okay, so first thing we need to do, I'm just gonna go through the top hole at the top here. That's gonna be my starting point. Just make sure the pages are all lined up and I'm just gonna pull it through all the way. Now in here, on this end, I'm just going to tie a really quick, just rough knot, just so I don't pull it through, the thread all the way through. I'm just going to tie a knot in there so I can't pull it through. Okay, now the next stitch we're going to do, we're going to flip the book over and go through one of the holes in here. I'm just going to pull that through and then we go back through the next hole and we work our way down the whole book. To do this so now we're going back through underneath and then through the hole here and now we go through the whole bit till we reach the very end and at this point we start on our way back filling in the gaps as we go so we're just going to fill in these gaps here And now we're just going to go back through our hole here to our start point. And it's at this point we just pop off the needle, just pull everything, and now just make sure 
we loop around this here, this thread here. I'll just make a loop just to tie it off against this one here. So I just keep this nice and tight here. I'm just going to tie that off there. And then I'm just going to do it again just to make a bit more of a more a proper knot in there. And there we are. Then we're just going to trim off this edge here. And then this long thread here. And there we have our Z. Okay, so now we've finished. So here is the finished book. And you can see the nice stitch down the side here. Add all the pages inside, looking absolutely great. So that's how to make a little zine type book for your photographs. Really good for giving to your friends and things, just with a little book, and just promoting yourself and your work out there. It's a really good way of doing it, really quick as well, and a really nice simple stitch as well when you're making a book, and they look great. So I hope that's been useful, and I really look forward to seeing some books you're making.